Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna try to go catch some grouse. Uh, we got some snow on the ground so it might be harder than usual. I find that once there's snow on the ground the grouse just disappear. You see way less than you would see during the fall season when there's no snow on the ground. But you can still see some. If you look in the trees, most of the time they'll be up in the tree eating. So uh, that's a little tip for you guys. If you ever hunt during the winter or when there's snow on the ground, look up in the trees. Especially just before dark, they're gonna be all up there. So stay tuned, we'll try to see if we can catch some grouse. We made it to the woods. This is what we're dealing with. Winter has arrived. That's always fun. Look at him. Oh my goodness. In case you guys were wondering what grouse tracks look like, that is what it looks like. And that is very fresh. So it's going that way. Dexter's on its tracks. So I'm gonna grab the shotgun. And we're gonna go in there. It's pretty thick. It's like really thick. So uh, we might not see it. It might be up a tree already. But if it is on the ground, Dexter will definitely smell it. And it'll probably scare it up a tree and be able to set up the camera and go for the shot. So let's grab the shotgun. This is what we're hunting with today. Stolger M3500. This is my waterfowl shotgun. But I figured I'd use it today with the extra full choke. really thick in here. I have a hard time to walk through the trees. It's beautiful though. We had some snow fall on the ground yesterday so those tracks look pretty fresh. Probably from a couple of hours ago though. It still shouldn't be too far. There was a house here once. That's the, uh, can't remember the name of that, uh, where all the poop goes. Yeah. There used to be a village up here in the woods. There used to be full of houses back here. They shut it down in the 19... 1970s or 1980s people had to uh, leave their houses behind and move away so we we just passed a grouse i just seen it i was driving by and it was up in a tree like i saw it at the last second but never stop right next to a grouse or like under it because as soon as you get out of the truck it's gonna fly away for, for sure so I don't even know if it's still there actually it is still there so I'll just move ahead a little bit more so I don't spook it I'm even gonna let leave the truck running so it's not nothing is gonna spook it because if I turn the truck off the noise that she's hearing right now is gonna suddenly stop and then she's gonna get suspicious so set up the camera and I'll try to get a good shot for you guys for her to turn her head she's kind of pointing away from me right now there we go Yeah. 
He wants to eat it. Bon chien. Oh, this is big. I love late season grouse. They're so beautiful. Big and fat for the winter. So that was pretty cool. First bird of the day. And hopefully not the last. This is probably the one that we see in its tracks um, earlier. Because we're about not even like uh, 300 feet from where I stopped a while ago. So I'm pretty sure this is the same one. Always pick up your shells. Not enough people do that. This looks like a male. Pretty sure that is. Yeah, this is a male. A male grouse. I can tell it's a male because that the uh, black line is constant. Females would have two lighter or non-existent black line on the two middle feathers. Put that in there and keep going. I think I've seen grouse tracks right here. Yeah. Now those are fresh. <laughs> How cool is that? That's the tail, Mark. It, it was probably up in that tree right there. And it dived down. Its tail hit the snow right here. You can see the wing right there. That's pretty neat. Oh, and if you're wondering what grouse poop looks like, that's roughed grouse poop. So compared to a uh, human hand. So yeah, there's a lot of grouse activity here. You can see the tracks right there. Basically, it's like a chicken track. There's tracks all over. All up in there. Dexter's just going crazy. It shouldn't be too far. Probably up in one of those spruce trees. I'm gonna... Grab the shotgun and uh, go see. You can really see the tracks good here. I think there were two of them. There's more tracks right there. So it's either on the ground somewhere. We're going to keep looking or it's up in a tree. If it's up in a tree, if you get close to, to the tree, the grouse is going to start to chirp. A little chirping sound, kind of like a little, uh, like a little whistling sound. It sounds a little like this. When you hear that, that means that it's warning the others that there's danger close and it's about to take off um, flying. So if you hear that noise, you want to get ready to shoot in the general direction that you hear it because it's going to fly away. Sometimes you can get lucky enough or just fast enough to get it before it flies away. But most of the time, right after it starts to do it, it takes off. Little Moose took a nap here. You can see the tracks. See where it laid down. It's all hard. Probably a calf. It's not big. There are a lot of moose here. We actually hunt moose not far from here. <clears throat> not even a kilometer from here. Is where my brother shot his moose this year. <coughs> And I shot my moose at the same same spot that my brother shot his bull this year. I shot my bull last year.
Well, I can't find them. It's getting late. It's getting cold. It's like minus 10 today. Dexter's having a blast though. Dexter's really having fun. We're just gonna go at the camp. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Make a fire, warm ourselves up. Maybe have a beer or something. And cook some uh, moose steak. Dexter is a chocolate lab and a husky mix. So he can go on for hours and hours and hours and a couple of more hours after that. He just never gets tired. I don't know about you guys, but I really like to open up this sack Kind of like this little pouch. That's where they keep all their food before it goes into the stomach. Or the gizzard. I really like to see what these guys are eating. So as you can see, it's eating branches. It just breaks off the uh, end of the branches. And that's what they eat, branches and leaves. It's always interesting. You have to know what they eat if you want to catch them. Thank you. 